Let me show them books I picked up at Ollie's Bargain Outlet and Half Price Books. Uh, first of all, shout out to Holler Mouse. That's how I found out about this sale. Uh, if you didn't know, they got a lot of DC books that I guess DC was trying to get rid of and they sent the, sold them to Ollie's and we got the, a lot of decent books for real cheap. I mean, I don't think I've seen a book under, well, I shouldn't say that. The mid 99 percent of them are probably six ninety nine and below. There was like one or two that had, or had like a twelve dollar price tag or something like that. Uh, and also got some half price books, uh, trades here. These are all trades. Uh, I got giant comic book updates coming up soon here. So uh, I got a Batman update. I know I promised that like about two months ago, but whatever. Uh, first off, I'm going to show a couple of showcases. I always buy these books just for when I go on vacation and stuff. I just they're nice to have. I really don't care if they get damaged or anything like that. And that's something I really collect. Uh, maybe one or two of them I might collect, but I. Let me see here. Most of these are let's say yeah, about four or five of these were ones I just bought just to read. I uh, don't really care if they're my collection or not. A uh, couple of characters I was interested in reading a lot of the earlier stuff, so. Uh, first off is a uh, Batman. Oh, well, yeah, Brave and the Bolts that presents Batman team ups. There you go. <laughs> Spit it up. But yeah, these are these are pretty cool, and, and it's only a two dollar and ninety nine cent price tag. I mean, this is nice to take on vacation. You know, take down to the beach. <laughs> this one, however, I'm gonna have to keep for my collection. It's a uh, Green Lantern. It's Volume Two. I have already have Volume One. Uh, huge Green Lantern fan, so it's nice to have some of these early issues. And besides, you know, I do collect Green Lantern. Uh, I believe this is Volume 2. Uh, my uh, comic book uh, <laughs> volumes are correct, but uh, yeah, so it's nice to have these two. Um, that way you can thumb through the pages, uh, make sure your copy is really nice, but you can always just go with the trade instead of, uh, you know, fingerprinting or doing some tape damage or something to the, mm -hmm. <laughs> the good copy uh aquaman i never had any interest in this character i thought hey, perfect time to read some of the old stuff you know so uh it says, has a 16.99 price tag normally it was three dollars so i would never buy this book uh full price i wouldn't buy it at half price <laughs> but you know for three bucks all right now we're talking <laughs> so And uh, I guess there's a movie coming out with this one. So I might catch up on Shazam, some Shazam <laughs> Captain Marvel. But uh, I think I have a couple issues of Captain or Shazam, uh, the DC version. So yeah, I believe it was the first issue. And I have like, a, let me see here. Yeah, I have this issue. It's nice they even have the black and white covers and stuff like that. So. But yeah, I've always wanted to read a little bit more about that character. Might have to get some of the older ones. Uh, just like Aquaman, Hawkman is another character I really don't care about. The only thing I know about him is that's M Emski 361's uh, boy. <laughs> he seems to be a huge fan of this guy, so that's that's about as much as I know about him. I bought the uh, the recent metal tie-in with uh, Hawkman, so not really sure. Uh, I just never never read anything about it, and I'm a, I'm a supposed a DC guy, you know. <laughs> guess not more of a Gotham guy, I guess. And this will probably be one I'll keep for my collection too. It's uh, Superman. It's uh, Volume Three. Uh, just love old Superman stories, so I'll definitely keep this in my collection. But yeah, thanks to Howard Mouse, I got a few more here. But this, when I was watching his video, and um, uh, gosh, I think it's about couple weeks ago now uh this is the one that caught my eye so uh, this is why this is the reason why i ran ran out to look at the always we got like two or three around this area but uh it's the starman omnibus volume one i wish they had like a couple more volumes but that's all i have but i've been wanting to read this for the longest time and to find it for a five dollar price tag you can't beat that uh so yeah it's get a little bit in there but uh, definitely super stoked to read this. The only thing I'm hesitating about to read it is because if I you know, really enjoy it, I'm probably going to overpay for Volume 2, but whatever. I know.
real problems. Uh, while I was there, I saw this. I didn't even know this was even something they had at all. Even. And it was six ninety nine. So it was the uh, Neil Adams uh, the Batman illustrated by Neil Adams. I mean, that's just a gorgeous cover right there. It has a lot of his uh, first. This is volume one. Be sure I'm not telling anybody. Right. Yeah, volume one. But it has uh, a lot of his first. Yeah, I believe that's his first work on Batman right there. It's got. You can just tell his artwork there. So I was super happy to get this. Yeah, I might be interested in getting volume two of that. Oh, well, I was there. At all these, also, I picked up these cards. Uh, it's a Batman versus the Joker trading card game that I'll probably never play. <laughs> Let's be honest. But yeah, I've never played the, never a card guy. Uh, my kid wants to play it, so I may, you know, try to play it. But for some reason, I can never get the rules down right. I mean, instructions or everything with it, but it just never works out. Yeah, you know. just ain't isn't my thing. Uh, another thing I saw was uh. Or I picked up from there. This is the last one I picked up from always. Uh, Batman Unwrapped R.I.P. I mean, this is really cool. Uh, if you got this is worth the price of admission, to be honest. But uh, but Tony Daniels' work on Batman. I mean, him and Greg Capullo. It's like one and one one B for me in the modern age here. But I just love these black and whites, the sketches. I mean. Look at that, man. That's, that's wicked right there. <laughs> but yeah, do yourself a favor. If you got an Ollie's near you, get this. Especially if you're a Batman collector. Uh, I, I don't know if there's any more of these or anything like that. I've never even seen these before. You know? And I'm somebody uh, <laughs> that's around books and comics all the time. And I never even, I'm not a real trade paperback person or hardback guy. But uh, I've never even seen this before. So that was awesome. I was like, I was like, oh man, I just bought it for the cover and I opened it up and the whole thing was practically filled with it. Just that um, sketches. Uh, yeah, I mean, do yourself a favor, pick this up. Uh, let's see here, get these in order. Oh, so Half Price Book had their, uh, it was like 30% off like Monday, Tuesday, and then it goes up every week till the end of Sunday where it ends up at 50% off. For one item, so I went a couple times a day. I'll show the comic books that I picked up uh, past few um, trips there, but I'll just show the trade paperbacks that I picked up. So I've been on a Sandman kick as of late. I've read a few of these. Uh, I've never actually read the first chapter, and I finally got done <laughs> reading it, and I you know, love it. So, and I also picked up uh, this is part two, Seasons of the Mist here. Uh, it starts. They, they overlap each other, these ones, because I don't think they're uh, the same, uh, I don't know how to say it, but uh, they're different different trade paperbacks made at different times, I guess. But uh, yeah, they both, uh, this one ends with issue eight, and this one begins with issue eight, so I got <laughs> two of the same story, but yeah, this is just awesome. I, I used to collect them when I was younger, and, and I, you know, I'm gone back to it in a while i don't have any of the didn't have any of the earlier issues because they're way out of my price range at the time so it's just nice going back reading it uh that's the nice thing about comics and then if there's not, nothing you want to read it that's currently out you can always go back to the back to the past you know then come back to the future because <laughs> i you know i never i never got a chance to read everything just due to money wise but uh but thanks again for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, Instagram will be down below. I have a, I'll have a, definitely have a few more videos coming out. Uh, soon. I got so many books. I'm, I got 25 cent books that I picked up. I got dollar issues I picked up. I haven't even shown yet. And I bought them back in like January. I'm still going through them reading <laughs> as I'm going along here. But uh, I got quite a few things to read. I'll probably be saving the showcases till a later date. I'm not going to worry about it, but all right, guys, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time.